One of the worst parts of getting a cut is waiting for it to heal. Fortunately, a new Israeli company has developed a special healing product that promises your wound will go away a lot faster. Joining us today is Dr. Mark Lubin from BioTreat21. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, nice to be here. So, to begin, what is BioTreat21? How does this product work? So, it's actually a combination of two products. Uh, disinfectant spray and a balm, sort of a healing ointment. Now, the balm is a combination of a number of ingredients. Uh, basically natural oils, natural fats, vitamins that we all recognize in our daily lives. A uh, small example, the oils that we use, sunflower seed oil, flaxseed oil, walnut, lavender, just to name a few. These are things that we know, we recognize, and are totally natural. Now the way it works, it basically improves the body's uh, ability to transfer those, uh, those therapies into the deep, the, soft, the deep soft tissue, the core of the, of the wound. That allows the body to improve the healing process. So does it speed it up? I mean, what is the difference between your product and other bombs and ointments that we can, you know, just buy in the local pharmacy? Well, in part, we're still in the process of testing it. But what we know, it does a few things. One, it improves inflammation, or it, technically it decreases inflammation. It's okay. antiseptic, which is cleansing. Uh, it minimizes the irritation and the pain that most often is that's what the patient complains about. Um, obviously it improves wound healing and in the final step it improves the renewal process of the skin layer instead of ending up with a scar which all of us have there are some people who have actually come out with totally normal skin with hair growing out of the skin what was once would have been a scar without hair growth is now totally normal skin that's what we've seen in some of our cases that we've already used wow that's amazing is is the speeding is the recovery process faster by any means or so in the, some of the clinical cases that we've already used, and it's, at this point it's still limited, but what we've seen, and it's slightly technical, but I'll describe it, uh, in patients that have diabetic ulcers, uh, venous ulcers of the lower extremities, and we all know these patients. These are our grandmothers who have the, the wounds on their legs. There are uncles who suffer from diabetes. We've taken a group of them and we've tried them. Within two to three days, the offensive odor, which is not nice to talk about, but the, the offensive odor is, does, resolves. Within a week or two, the discharge is totally replaced by granulation tissue, which technically is the basis for the, the wound healing. And within four to six weeks, which is fairly quick, we see complete wound healing. Wow, that's amazing. So, you know, where and when can we get our hands on this product? I understand that it's still being tested, right? The million dollar question. Right. The stage we're at right now is still in testing. Um, we're still at the stage where we need to prove on a large scale that it's more effective than the standard, more intensive treatments. Uh, to that end, uh, we're planning clinical trials, which are both labor and funding intensive, which is part of the reason I'm applying to the community to support us, uh, with the hopes that we prove that we're both more effective and faster, and ultimately the end product is that our product is a must-have in every hospital department, every kitchen, every kitchen, every medicine basket, that we are basically replace a Band-Aid. Wow. Yeah, I saw, I've seen some of the images of how this uh, ointment works, and it is amazing. A little gruesome to see these photos, um, but I mean, it's really, really cool what you guys are doing. I mean, you kind of t touched on this, but why did you decide to focus on this issue, create a product that would deal with healing wounds? Like I said before, all of us suffer from cuts, scrapes, bruises, burns. One, they're painful, and two, they don't heal well. Uh, Hippocrates in 400 BC talked about ulcers of the leg, which was caused by poor venous flow back to the heart. And we're still talking about the same problem. Clearly, we don't have a solution yet. We're still fighting the same problem. Practically, I can give you a few examples. Diabetic foot ulcers. This is the most common reason for a diabetic patient to be hospitalized and to be hospitalized. 15% of diabe diabetics will have a diabetic ulcer over the course of their lifetime. A quarter of those will have to undergo amputation. That's an astronomical number. Pressure sores. 10% of hospitalized patients suffer from pressure sores. A quarter of patients in long-term care facilities also suffer from the same thing. These are our mothers, our fathers, our grandparents that are suffering. The market in the United States is estimated to be worth a billion dollars. This is a market that right now is one, untapped, and two, poorly treated. So we think we have a product, which we'd like to prove more, but in the initial testings, it shows amazing potential. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It was a real pleasure to have you here, and this product sounds amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on it when it's finally in stores.